Hey, welcome back everybody. It's another video and today is going to be a through the mail video or as we like to say TTM. We seek autographs TTM through the mail by sending our favorite athletes and celebrities letters of request along with a card or a photograph asking for their autograph and uh, you'll be quite surprised how many times you can get a response. I like to do it a lot and when I do I make videos share the information so in that way if you see your favorite player or favorite celebrity you can get their autograph too. We've got four returns today and um, we've opened these prior to filming quite often or I guess most of the time. I open the returns right on camera but today I've opened so I know what's coming and this just in they're pretty good. Let's get right to it. The first two are kind of a pair and first they were teammates for quite a few years and second, they were both heavenly involved in a watershed moment in baseball career of one of my baseball heroes, Roberto Clemente. Uh, Roberto got his 3,000th hit in his final regular season game, 1972. And now that wasn't his final hit of his career. It was his final regular season hit. He did get four hits in the playoffs that year when the Pirates played the Reds and lost to the Reds in five games. But that was his last regular season hit, happened to be his 3,000th hit. And, of course, that's Roberto right there. And catching is a guy named Duffy Dyer. And Duffy can be seen in this photograph. Duffy Dyer, Roberto Clemente. And the person throwing the pitch is John Matlack. So, uh, of course, two months later, Roberto was killed in a plane crash on New Year's Eve 1972, New Year's Day 73. Um, he was accompanying earthquake supplies to Nicaragua from Puerto Rico, his home country, and uh, the plane went down and he was killed. But I digress because today we've got returns from the catcher in that scene, 74-year-old catcher, 14 seasons for the Mets and for the Pirates, played from 68 to 81. Uh, was a backup to catcher Jerry Grody on the 69 Miracle Mets World Series championship team. And he was also on the 73 team that lost to the Oakland A's in the 73 World Series. Uh, sent him three and he signed three. There's a 78 tops, 73 tops, and a 72 tops. And you'll notice my fancy schmancy card holders because I aim to please and leaning it against the cardboard box just wasn't good enough for my subscribers and my viewers I got some plastic trays look at that that's a Duffy Dyer um, he was catching in the 19th September 30th 1972 game where Roberto Clemente got his 3000th hit got that back in uh, 35 days from Duffy Dyer there's no fee Next up is his battery mate in that photo off camera, the through pitch, and that is 69 or 70 years old here coming up soon. Left-handed pitcher for 13 seasons from 71 to 83 for both the Mets and as you see here, the Rangers signed these in beautiful blue Sharpie. National League Rookie of the Year 1972. That same year that the Clemente photo was taken. All-time Rangers team in that card. Oh, there's another one in there, the 77 tops with the Mets and the 80 tops here with the Rangers. Don't worry, folks, I've got an inordinate amount of card holders here. So John Matlack, beautiful blue Sharpie. Uh, three times an All-Star. Actually finished uh, with a losing record of 125 and 126 overall. Um, but for you Rookie of the Year subset collectors, you may want to get him. He was 72 Rookie of the Year. Uh, also, as Duffy Dyer did after his playing days, he became a coach and a manager in the minor leagues. Same thing with John Matlack. He's been a coach in the minor leagues for several years after his playing career. Got that back from Mr. Matlack in 15 days. 
there's no fee for him. Next up is a one card return. And that is 82 year old former defensive end for 20 seasons. 20 in the NFL, almost unheard of for a defensive player. In fact, he set the record. Played from 1960 to 1979. Um, all for the Vikings. At the time of his retirement, he had the most consecutive starts at 270, most games played at 282. Valuable member of the famed Purple People Eaters defense, along with Alan Page and Carl Eller, two Hall of Famers. He played in all four of the Super Bowls that the Vikings played in. Back in the day, I think he's the only Viking to do that. Should be in the Hall of Fame. I don't know why he's not in the Hall of Fame. But um, that's a mystery that may never be answered. He is a $5 charge. Got that back in 11 days at a charge of $5. Next is interesting. Came today. And uh, in this envelope, FedEx delivered. Second day air. I busted it open, came from the NBA office, and very interesting that they would send it two-day air. It is from, Dear Michael, thank you for asking Commissioner Silver for his autograph. More than anything, thanks for being a fan of the NBA. Sincerely, Bill. And that is the photograph that they sent, signed in beautiful silver ink. Adam Silver, NBA Commissioner. And this is the photo that I sent, and that's also signed in silver. So pretty slick. Adam Silver did it up right. That's my top loader that I sent, his photo and my photo. And he also sent my SACE, my self-addressed stamped envelope, which I guess I can reuse because it's in the same exact condition that I sent to him. So he's 57 years old. He's... Um, been involved in the NBA for several years. He was the deputy commissioner under David Stern uh, for several years and then took over when Stern retired. Stern gave him his utmost um, recommendation and the NBA hired him when Stern retired in 2014. Got that back in 23 days. I'll count that as a two for one since I just sent one. He returned two. Uh, 23 days, no fee for Commissioner Adam Silver. And I don't have my easel. I wonder if this card holder will use. Let's see. I'll put two up here. Put these side by side and see if they're strong enough to hold. Probably not. Nope, they're going to tumble. I'll tumble for you. All right. That's it, guys. Four returns. Duffy Dyer, John Matlack. Jim Marshall should be in the Hall of Fame, and NBA Commissioner Adam Silver. Thanks for watching. Guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified of all my future videos. Hit that thumbs up button. Uh, leave a comment down below. I love your comments. And uh, we'll see you with another video. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.